The most famous mechanical fish scared the heck out of millions. That was back in 1975. But now there may be a new fish in the water, a whole lot friendlier. Meet the robofish. Its role in life is to detect pollutants, underwater oil spills, even algae blooms. The robofish came to our attention after Michigan State University professor Jai Bo Tan uploaded this intriguing video to planetforward.org. Right now, these robots, as you can see in this lab, they can move and swim in this uh, very calm tank. And when we visited Michigan State, we discovered that Tan has already taken his concept to a new level. We we'll see basically schools of these robots patrolling coastal waters, uh, pond or lakes or even river, and they talk to each other on the water and uh, communicate. Tan believes fish like these could be equipped with all kinds of sensors, from cameras to lasers to oxygen level monitors. It could revolutionize the way we monitor our waterways. In the past, the challenge has been that robots are dependent on battery power, limited range, limited utility. The professor's prototype harnesses the Earth's gravitational pull to propel it far beyond the limits of a battery. It's essentially an underwater glider. Prototypes exist, but research money backing this technology could take it to new depths. Designing these mechanisms in a smarter way, we can extend the life. The ideal case is you want a year, two years. Because one idea here is that you have a swarm or school of these things, and, uh, and each one is supposed to be simple and, uh, and cheap, small. Right? And if it has to be very big and expensive, then we're not getting any, much advantage of what's existing. The key to this innovation is micro-mechanical system technology, the fish's tiny sensors. They have to be smaller, lighter, cheaper, and incredibly rugged to survive down here. It's downright Darwinian to move the planet forward.